I'm not gonna lie. Why is the first thing that comes up is Lil Durk dead? Now, Lil Durk has been arrested. He will face life imprisonment or death penalty because of his involvement in murder for hire. Now, we all know the Lil Durk shit. And um, first of all, I gotta say, man, <laughs> the whole gunner thing. If you asking me, do I feel bad about Gunner? I mean, not about about Lil Durk. It's a couple. It's a couple things. Like, I don't really know how to feel about it, because on one hand, you look at the, you look at like, to be so successful now, and for Dirk to be where he's at in his career currently, you know, it's just actually insane. Oh, I didn't even see the video. Dang, they showing the video right here. I don't even wanna. I guess that's where his homie got popped, because I did hear about that. They did. They did send it. We know that for sure, Dirk. I, I'm going to tell you like this. Thugga might be free, but I think Dirk might be cooked. The reason I think Dirk might be cooked is from what they're saying is that the dude that ratted on him that was in the gang, FTP, whatever you want to call it, FTK, OTK, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. They said he had a wire. They got they got the, the stuff on him. This is not even a RICO case. They got a, This is a, um, a murder for hire accusation. Uh, they literally got the marshals to pick him up. It's federal. All right. This is not a joke. All right. Again, this is not a joke. This is the same thing that's happened to Diddy. It is the same thing that's happening to Young Thug and, and, um, uh, and Gunna. Um, it's the same thing. Like this ain't, this ain't one of those like, oh, it's going to go away. Make believe type shit. This is federal. Like this is, this is the feds. This is real life. This is, you know, he got, he got took. I guarantee you Lil Dirk. Eyes flash right before him, um, and it just doesn't make any sense because again, it goes to, it goes to show you, man, why I laugh at the rap fans, hip hop Twitter, um, just you know the fans in general, you know when they say they have a respect for you because at the end of the day, when this man goes to jail, you know Tory Lanez, all the people when when they when he goes to jail, they gonna forget about Dirk in less than three four months, you know maybe even maybe I'm giving the benefit of the doubt they forget maybe they might forget about in a month. And it just sucks to say that, like, he kind of brought this upon himself. And I wish for no black man to go to jail for sure. You know what I'm saying? I want every black man to succeed odd for obvious reasons. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, when you are successful as Dirk um, and any other the artists that are in, in, in the way, like, you got to get out of that environment. I remember listening to a Gunner interview saying, your ops can't find you in Australia. Now, it was said that he was booking a flight to Italy uh, or Switzerland or whatever, or maybe he's trying to throw him off, I'm assuming, you know, he got multiple flights. I always say this too, man, if you know you're going to be in trouble, like, if I ordered the hit, this is what I always, I always told my best, look, my best friends did some bad shit, they got a week to get the fuck away. And then after that, if the feds come to me, and they asking me direct questions where I'm not lying on an oath or whatever, I got I to gotta tell them. But I'm giving my friends a week to get the fuck out. If you know that you're doing bad shit, what are you doing in Chicago still. What are you doing in New York still? Why are you still in America? Like, like it, I feel like a lot of these celebrities just really do feel invincible. Now, again, man, it goes to, fu it's, it's funny the society we live in because when, when Vaughn and RP his soul, condolences to his family, but when Vaughn was doing all the devilish shit that he was doing, criminal shit, devilish shit, however you want to look at it, you know, people are praising him and feeling bad. But like, yo, you're involving yourself with this lifestyle still. Now, you are a product of your environment. And again, I understand some people only know the streets. I get it, man. But those are for a lot of people that don't have the options and are the opportunity to get out of their situations. We're not talking about those people. We're talking about the Vaughns. We're talking about the Dirks. We talking about Chief Keef. Obviously, Chief Keef, we saw what he did with his career and where he's at and where he's not at. And again, he's not in New Jersey. He's not in Chicago anymore. The motherfucker is in the rich, lavish life of California. I just don't understand like, why you put yourself in this position when you're someone who is at this caliber level. You know, you, you are a... a, a considered a top-tier artist now in this rap music of today's era, 
Like, why would you give that all up? Again, and, and it goes back to what I'm saying. Because the internet plays a big role, man. It's crazy that you don't understand how society just plays a big role in this shit nowadays. Because a lot of the shit, when a lot of opinions come together, man, it can sway a lot of shit. All right? The people, people don't really realize how much their opinions can sway. I guarantee you right now, if everybody went outside and didn't go shopping today and stayed home and didn't shop at a grocery store right there, the world would collapse. The U.S. would collapse for a day. I guarantee you. They'd be like, what the fuck is going on? That's how much power people have, but people don't really realize that because it takes more than one. It takes millions. But when you got hundreds of thousands of people coming at Dirk saying, oh, you didn't slide for Vaughn. I was actually looking at this shit saying, you didn't slide for Vaughn and you didn't, uh, you, you, you fucked up for that, Dirk, and blah, blah, blah. First of all, you got random ass motherfuckers on the internet that look like this goddamn Chick Fil A cup. This is what I imagine what y'all look like because I'm really you got to be a psychopath. You got literally numbers and letters on a screen telling you, you flaws, you flaws, fuck dirt for not sly for Vaughn. Man, if that if anything that should have been a goddamn <laughs> you talking about the young boy that should have been a goddamn wake up call to stop this shit, man. You got more to live for. You got probably got kids. I'm not. I don't know Dirk's life. But I'm going to tell you right now, man, I don't know what was going through his head. But for him to go to Italy, to have a flight to Italy, could you imagine that? You got a flight to Italy. You got hella money. You're a multimillionaire. Yet you getting picked up by the marshals. And again, if you did slide on the dude, what is Quando Rondo, I think his name. Again, I don't know any of this shit. I'm just looking from the outside in. At the end of the day, I don't give a fuck truly, really. I truly don't give a fuck, honestly. Um, because at the end of the day, I still got to work. I got to go to work tomorrow. I still got, I still got to, well, I got to work tomorrow or might work tomorrow. I still got to worry about my family tomorrow. I still got to worry about my friends tomorrow. I still got to worry about life, real life shit. So I'm not really too involved with Dirk's life, but it's just sad to see, man. Like you always ask, you know, we always had these conversations. If you won a lot of what would you do if, you know what I'm saying? I always have shit in my head of what I would do. You always have, if you were to make it out of your struggle, if you were to make it out of the middle class, if you were to make it out of making more than $20,000 a year, what would you do? And sometimes people got to really ask themselves, what would you do? Some people say they really don't change. And I think that's, that's, that's the one only, this is the one of the few times where it's bad, like never change. You know, when they tell you never change, don't let that money change you. And this, in this case, and many other African-American cases, money should change you. You know what I'm saying? You should. Once you get out of that situation, you don't have to be a thug no more. You don't have to, 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 to do the street shit no more. It's not a requirement. Most niggas, the reason most niggas slide and the reason most niggas doing what they're doing in the hood is because they have to. Like, education is not an option. You know what I'm saying? Feeding the family is a priority. You know what I'm saying? Moving how you move. You know what I'm saying? Selling 50 dimes. You know what I'm saying? T selling two O's by the end of the week so you can put food on the table. That's, that's, that's a requirement. You need to do that. When you're a multimillionaire, the respect, bro, fuck the respect. I understand that. No, I'm not going to say that. Fuck respect because respect is a lot of is, is a, respect and morals is everything as a man you can have. I can understand that. I'm not going to say that's not. But you cannot be a millionaire and be this idiotic. All right. And, and again, apparently, I'm going off of what they said. They had 12 years on the, bro, on, on, on the guy. They got 12 years. 12 years of the dude snitching that was in the gang. Obviously, he wasn't gang gang, whatever. He wasn't gang gang. And I watched the Charleston White. Bro, let's watch what Charleston White said because I actually, I actually quoted it, which was crazy. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Let me go on my other Twitter. You know, first of all, Twitter's all porn nowadays. So like they were laughing at me when I said. went to jail. Look. <laughs> I know what I'm <laughs> So ain't nobody laughing at dirt. Now it ain't funny. Now your favorite rapper go to jail and look like he got a no bond like me. <laughs> <laughs> but that boy got a federal no bond. Federal no bond. First of all, first of all, no bond is crazy. All right. Diddy got the same thing. No bond. No bond meaning that you cannot do anything. No matter how much money you got, no matter what you do, you will not be able to get out. So currently what Young Thug's going through, everybody always looks at it like Young Thug's free. At the end of the day, man, when you look at the trial, bro, Young Thug did three years. Young Thug's on his way to doing three years. So no matter what, he, Young Thug could probably sue if he really wants to. But at the end of the day, you can't get time back. Time is the only thing you can't get back in this life. So Young Thug did three years. Gunna did one year. 
You know, Gunner's whole life changed. You know why Gunner? I love Gunner. That's my guy. I, I love his music. I love all the producers. I love everything. The reason Gunner changed his whole life, because that shit is a spiritual motherfucking awakening. All right? Because when your freedom, I, I, I went to jail off of some shit that I didn't do. Um, it was, it was, it was some of the car shit. But when I did my, when I did my little, my little, my little two days, day and a half, I'm going to tell you that's right now. Jail is not fun. All right? It is not fun. It is boring. It plays with your mind. It, it, it's, it's a, it's a, it's just a, it's a never ending, just feels like it never ends. And that was a day and a half. I can't, I can't even imagine what three, two years feel like. That's insane. I'd probably go insane. So when you hear shit like this, like it's real life. Experience is something you got to go through. It ain't something that you, it's, it's something you got to go through. So when you go through it, a motherfucker don't know, a motherfucker that's speaking on something he don't know, don't, don't listen to that motherfucker. Speak on somebody that's actually done it. That shit to put the fear in your motherfucking spine. Ooh, I bet that nigga asshole and closed up. Facts. He got a burp to pass there. Asshole did not he did can't close up. Out his ass. I know, I know the feeling. Boy, they get your ass and they put a hole on you. Boy, nigga booty be tight in the motherfucker sitting on Facts. that bench. <laughs> hey, hey man. Now, all y'all who said my time coming for saying King Von. Saying fuck King Von. And it's crazy too. The fact that you got randoms on the internet vouching for a motherfucker that they did not know, saying that they literally, oh, you got your time coming, telling another man that he has his time coming for saying what he said about King Von, knowing that all of these hundreds of thousands or maybe fifties of thousands of people don't even know Von nor Dirk nor um what's his name? And they talking, like, that's why the internet's so weird, to me at least. That's what's so weird. People are so involved in other people's lives, dog. Like, it's All crazy. Oh, time coming. They go get him. I wasn't a drug dealer. Drake time came for saying fuck Tupac. Or <laughs> uh, this is common. I, I don't know. Y'all be so hypocritical. Somebody rents, uh, quick story short before I get out of hand. Somebody rents in my car, fled from the police. Obviously, it was my car. Police thought it was me. Didn't do their due diligence. Um, and I was in the, I was in the uh, act of suing the um, suing the state trooper, but obviously you know that's a lot. But yeah, that's really what happened. So I did my day, and that shit got dropped immediately. Like um, a month later, it got dropped immediately. Like because they fucked up. Like <laughs> they won't. That's the case. They weren't gonna win, obviously. When it comes to you, because I had proof of where I was at, all that. But the judge instantly state troopers don't play no games in Florida, so it instantly got. Um, a warrant and once you get a warrant once a warrant for your race once your warrant for arrest goes out in 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 florida or wherever you're at a warrant goes out there's nothing they could do please got they, you cannot get out of that you can tell the truth all that you can show and prove all that you're going to jail <laughs> that's why i was so fucked because you didn't do your due diligence as a police officer to go into an investigation you just literally just pulled the trigger and said nah just because a motherfucker got away from you it's not my fault that the Beamer motherfucking hit off on your ass. Like, that's not my fault that, you know, you, and now your ego hurt. As a police officer, your ego hurt and, you know, shit like that. But, yeah, man, that, shit, that, that was a terrible time. Going to jail innocent is probably one of the craziest things ever that you can feel. I, I feel for those people also that go to jail that are very innocent. And literally, is, is renting your car's worth? I don't know. <laughs> your favorite rapper? I don't even know. <laughs> Correct. Running, running from warrants also make it worse. Like sometimes you don't even know you have a warrant. You know, like because of what happened. Short story short, police came to my house, talked to me. White dude said, "You're good. You're good." I got a call a day later while I was partying. I was drunk. They said, "Hey, we got a warrant for your arrest. We can come get you, or you can come here." And that's literally how I went. Like, <laughs> like what? I'm like what? That's all I'm saying, boys and girls. Say, let's make fun of dirt like y'all made fun of me. Better when y'all thought I got slapped. Look like that boy ass in trouble. He is in trouble. <laughs> Salute the little Tim. Um, the demons stay up. I bet he going to PC. Them California niggas try to extort it. One thing we know about California, the Crips and Bloods rule. GD, BD, on phone them, they ain't got no say so nowhere. <laughs> but when they write a letter to somebody. But in the California prison system, Cuz and blood run everything. <laughs> and Pyru, that GDBD, uh, phone them. Mm -mm, it's gonna be hard on his ass. Cause they're gonna be trying to extort him because they know he got money. He might have to pay for a little protection. You know what? And see, he this might... is the crazy part too. 
This is a crazy part too. This is coming from a nigga. Why y'all make fun of this nigga all the time? This is coming from a nigga that did it. This is coming from a motherfucker that experienced it. This is coming from somebody that's telling y'all exactly what's happening. Not some random ass internet motherfucker that's been playing World of Warcraft, Call of Duty. Motherfucker, they've been in their goddamn, you know, they play like, this is coming from Raw. Someone has done it. Someone has been through it. Someone has been in the system. Someone has, like, yo. And, and, and it's crazy. People that just don't listen. Young niggas just don't listen, bro. Sometimes, bro, when someone, you know, when a good storyteller tell you a spooky ass story, you feel the shivers and the goosebumps on your body. Some people don't really feel that fear because they need to know. Some people need to put their hand on that goddamn stove to know that it's fucking hot. Even though the coals are red as fuck, some motherfuckers literally need to touch it just to know that it's hot. It's crazy. It'd be all right. Because he joined Asalaamu Alaikum. One thing about it Asalaamu Alaikum, they look out for each other. <laughs> say, say, boy, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Boy, I'm riding through Oak Cliff right now. Boy, it's a beautiful day. I'm finna ride by where Mo3 got killed at here in a minute. That's crazy. Find me a good little derp song to play. <laughs> Let me find me a good morning, morning. Uh. <laughs> hey, boy, hey, I can't even be bad. Look, look, he is definitely so. And he talking his shit right here, man. There ain't nothing you could tell a freedom. There ain't not. There ain't nothing that's more worth in your life than health and freedom. Health and freedom, because life is not. It's pointless if you're not healthy. If you don't have a healthy life, nigga, life is crazy. Life gets bad. There ain't nothing you could do about it. You start wishing for everything else that you could have in life, giving up everything just for some health. I had a couple niggas pass away because of the bad health. Shit. I need to start realizing my health getting old, nigga. My health getting bad. All right? Health is wealth. All right? And then also freedom. Going outside, being able to touch your chest, grab your balls, sniff the air, nigga. Just, you know, hit one of these. You know what I'm saying? Hear the birds chirping. Ain't nothing better than that, nigga. You do that shit every morning, I promise to tell you. Look at the motherfucking sky and be like, damn, thank God for another motherfucking day. Or thank whoever you want for a motherfucking day. Thank. Just be thankful. You know what I'm saying? Add respect to her, too, even if it takes your freedom. Listen, man, to a degree. Because that's how we in this situation right now. Because of respect. Dirk's in this situation right now because of the respect. And again, I, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to finish it like this because I don't want to harp on it too much, man. I think literally, Boise State won. Goddamn. And they, and they covered. Goddamn. That boy, that boy Tyrese Halliburton really killed my ticket, dog. I ain't never putting Halliburton on my goddamn ticket ever again in my life, cuz. I can't believe that nigga, boy. It's crazy. Anyways, man, yeah, I tell y'all this, man, I tell y'all this, bro, like, hands down, they got this man for 12, they said 12 years that they had a wire on this dude, and he's been telling it and telling and telling, and now after this situation just happened, I think they actually, the dude who got murked, I believe, don't quote me on that, I don't know the whole story to spill, again, I don't go detective work in the moment, I'm just looking from the outside in. I believe they got him. And they so that's already that's 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 already a charge right there. Mur murder for hire is not nothing to play with. Now and, and if it was where it was at, I don't know about California, they talk about death penalty. I know in Florida there ain't really that, you know, you gotta do a lot of shit to get death penalty. Uh the man they accused of having a wire came out of jail after twelve years. Of having a wire came out of jail after twelve years. Is that what it is? Put it this way. Look, when the marshals come get you, bro, that's your real life. When the marshals come get you, bro, that shit is real life. And again, man, all he could do down now is wait because they could do the same thing they're doing a thug right now. Then he got caught having a gun and he folded. That's crazy. So all it took was this man got it and then they and then he folded. They only got the other members now involved with it too. Now people gonna start chirping. We gonna really see how folk and them handle this situation right now because when your freedom on the line, people move differently. Them plea deals start going out. People move differently. All right? I'm going to tell you right now, I'm chirping like a bird. You're getting snitched on. I'm out. All right? And then I'll move somewhere to South. I'll move to South Florida, and I'll just chill there. But 
I'm telling you, man. Everybody want to play that lifestyle until it's time to, you know, <laughs> till it's time, bro. I'm just telling you. Again, you know, move like how you want to move, man. Freedom is nice. Freedom is nice. Chilling is nice. Like I, I, I just don't understand how you could be a multimillionaire in the mansion, and you got the women, and you got the, you got the jewelry, and you got the clothes, and you got the vacations, and the jets, and the houses, and the food, and the, the lavish lifestyle, the experiences, and the freedom, and the power, and the glory, and you throw it away. For revenge. Yeah, Sly for Vaughn. It looks real dumb. By far the dumbest shit. I I, I actually want to go to I want to go to his Instagram real quick. Hold on. I want to go to his Instagram real quick. Hold on. Lil Dirk. I just want to see what his last comment say. Look, this man is in the... Okay, no one left a, a recent comment here. Damn, free you, my lord and savior, Schmirk. Everyone was quick to say Sly for Vaughn. Now it's Dirk Cook. Y'all crazy. Exactly, bro. That's why at the end of the day, man, you can love your subscribers. You can love your supporters. You can love the people that brought you and gave you a life. But at the end of the day, man, no one gives a fuck about you truly, truly. Like your family and your circle, bro. Remember that, man. Remember that. And I remember that and remember that. Like, like, just remember that the shit is crazy. And it's so crazy. Like, now when I fell down to my knees when the law came. Like, it's real life, bro. And again, y'all keep thinking that this shit is cool. Like, it's not cool. This is why y'all love artists like Future. This is why I love artists like Gunna. This is why I love artists like Kanye. This is why I love the Drakes and the, and, 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 and the Kendricks. And that. Because at the end of the day, you got to be real with yourself. And I remember when we had the Vaughn shit, I was asking. I was like, okay, so Vaughn, is he really a dude? Is he about that life or is he not? Because either or is bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, look, you read all this. Look, look at this dude, real to traps. Look at what he said. He dumb as fuck. Gave them boys the OTF credit card for fights and rentals. Now they facing the death penalty and killed the wrong person. This is a fucking L. It's all an L. The fact that they even got sent is an L. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy that people look like this is how people talk, bro. To dumbest criminals ever, bro. Like, I just, I can tell you a lame. Because if it wasn't, you will know that retaliation a must. Anybody can get it. Don't matter who it is. If you fuck with them, you die with them. This is what I'm talking about. Of course, he ain't got no picture. I mean, smart. Not really smart, though, because they can still see your information. It's really not that hard. But like it's crazy. It's just crazy to me when you think about it, dog. Like, I'm just reading these com like I'm just reading these comments, bro. And man, people are freaking. People are cooked. Society is cooked. Another day that black men get set back because of shit like this. Shit crazy, dog. Like, shit is crazy. Drop the album before you go into jail. That is a crazy comment. <laughs> that is crazy comment. Bros cook. That means India single. You're a troll, whoever said that in here. Cat Williams said, everybody catching hell in 2024. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever. Facts. Smirk can't even... No, bro, this is not even a Rico. It's not even a Rico, bro. It's not even a Rico, bro. It's just regular shit, dog. Huh? Free that innocent man. Oh, now it's sad. Now it's Dirk tripping. Now it's Dirk cooked. No Dirk. Soon as Vaughn got shot, y'all was telling Dirk to slide, clowning him, calling him soft. Vaughn rolling in his grave, etc. Guarantee Vaughn wouldn't have wanted Dirk to slide. He wanted his old boys to handle it. If anything, Dirk got a career and somebody had to be there for the kids. Now it's over with anyways. Jesus is king. Do not, bro, like, 
I ain't gonna lie to you, dog. Damn, gang, they trying to they trying to cook you for slime for Vaughn. <laughs> this is this is so ironic, bro. Oh man, crazy, dog. <laughs> hey, man. At the end of the day, niggas do stupid shit. They want to throw their lives away. It is what it is, man. It is what it is.